Hi, everybody. Welcome to Meet the Mailers. I'm Paul Bobnack for Who's Mailing What? And today I'm talking with Clovis Washington. She's a senior sales mail executive with USPS. Now, before we get started with today's program, if you have any questions or feedback, please comment in the box below. You can show your support for our programs by tapping the like button. And to get notified of when we add new videos, click on that subscribe button. Now let's meet the mailers and from USPS. Hi, Clovis, thanks for coming in today. Oh, thank you, Paul. I appreciate you inviting me today. Ah, well, you're welcome. I've been looking forward to this for a while. So let's get started the way we usually do with this uh, program uh, by talking about your background. How did you get involved with um, working with UP USPS and, uh, and in your interest in direct mail? Yeah, so I've been with the post office for 27 years, and I've actually been in sales for seven, and um, I've been working with with mailing um, specifically for about three three to four years. And I the thing I love about mail is the creative language. I love the different sizes, the variety, and how you can reach um, the recipients and the mailers. And um, yeah, I just I just love working with mail. Okay. And what is your like day to day role, you know, involve? Um, so my day to day is um, we have managed accounts. So I will uh, reach out to those um, accounts and just kind of see how they're doing and and how we're working with them, partnering with them um, to see if there's any way to help grow their business. That's our core function is to grow their business, whether it's in marketing or with packaging. Okay. Um, yeah. And I yeah. live here in Austin, Texas, the music capital of the world. We support <laughs> a lot of local bands. And um, and I love arts and crafts, and I love watching Food Network, but I don't like to cook. <laughs> yeah, same <laughs> here. That's that's not quite my thing, but uh, <laughs> the eating part, yeah, definitely. Um, well, that's that's pretty cool. Well, let's get into um, some of what I'm sure you talk about during your your day to day, which are USPS promotions, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I really love them. Um, always have uh, because they're all about pushing the envelope no pun intended, for <laughs> technologies, right? You know, that they make direct mail more valuable more valuable to consumers and to, uh, you know, our business customers, all the people out there in that big ecosystem of, uh, of mail and packaging. So how many, so let's talk about that a little bit and talk about like how many uh, promotions are running for this year and also what's new for 2023? So currently we have six different types of promotions. And um, so what's new right now is um, the reply mail, the IMBA. Okay. And that's where you, um, it's for first class mail only. And it's 3% to 6% discount off. Um, also another um, new promotion is retargeting. So um, that's where, let's say you are on a website and you're interested in something and you put it in your shopping cart, but you don't go all the way through. You may receive an email that says, oh, you left something in your shopping cart. Well, let's go a step further and send you a mail piece with the coupon code just to get that customer to engage a little bit more and maybe even purchase a little bit more. And that is a savings of a 5% discount. So yeah, um, and I would love to just kind of go like maybe recap some of the ones that we've been doing and explain a little bit about what they are. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So um, though we have a personalized color trans promo and that's where you can do, you can get a 3% or a 4% discount. And what that is, it really benefits more like banks, credit unions, financial institutions. Okay. And that's where you have multiple colors on your um, information inside the mailer. And of course you wanna make it personalized. And we found by adding a personalized message, it cre creates a connection between the company and the individual. 
Um, another um, promotion we have is Tactile Sensory and Interactive. Um, the benefit of that is you really want to engage the senses. So for example, I have this uh, sample mail piece here okay. and it actually um, has a little like texture on it. Um, and on the inside, I don't know if you can really see that that well. Maybe just tilt it a little bit. Okay. Not directly on, there you go. Uh, just, just a little more. Then maybe, um, let's see. There you go. Okay. That's perfect. That's yes. Perfect. So it has the the texture on it, and what mm -hmm. I like about this piece, it has um, the hot sauce inside. It's a scratch and sniff. Oh, I mean, wow. Who doesn't awesome. love that? It reminds me of being a kid. You know, when we had the scratch and sniff. Yeah. So, um, as a consumer you can smell the hot sauce and be like, oh, that sounds like that would be really good. So it's just, it's a way to get your consumers to purchase more and a way to engage using the mail. Yeah, a couple of different have... senses there too. Definitely. You know, yeah. because it's visual too, as well as the tactile, which is awesome. Yes, definitely. And that yeah. leaves a greater impression on the brain. So it's mm -hmm. more memorable. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I also have this piece here where it looks like water drops, right? Um, but it's actually like lifted. So if you feel it, it's kind of glossy. So okay. that engages the senses as well. So that piece would uh, qualify. And um, so what we have now, um, we have the mail portal as another way to submit your uh, mail pieces for review and approval. Okay. Whereas before we would have an email a separate email for each promotion. So now we just have one, uh, a one-stop shop. Oh, um, awesome. And that's our, yeah, our mailing portal. Um, mm -hmm. Now you will have to still go on Business Customer Gateway and um, you would select incentive programs. And then once you receive an email saying that you have access to that, then you can go ahead and start the process. And I want to... Um, let the marketers know that they can find all this information on Postal Pro. It has um, webinars, it has step-by-step, -step, it has a checklist, um, just all the helpful information on how to walk you through each and every mailing promotion. Right, so it looks like basically that the um, process has been streamlined, uh, like you said, so it's now one-stop one shopping. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we we want to make it easier for our mailers because um, I know for me, if it's not easy, then I may not use it. And that's the whole point. We want you guys to use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and of course, online, it'll have all the effective dates for each of these promotions and the submission dates, too. For sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I can go through that as well. Sure. Um, <laughs> so the next one is the emerging technology. And the promotion period is May 1st through November 30th. And that one, um, you can save up to 3% discount. So with that, you can um, add like a QR code. So we okay. yeah, QR code, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and um, you can also do like a voice assistant. I thought this was really cool. You can set up through Google or Amazon and have your donors um, and you can direct your donors to give a donation. Um, mm -hmm. And that's called voice assistant. And I, right, right. I just thought that was really cool. Yeah. To add and enhance your mail piece. Yeah. For sure. Well, for the, for the end user, it's just making it easier. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I was talking a little bit about the reply mail, the IMBA. Uh -huh. And so what the IMBA is, that's um, an automated solution where um, it does the counting and the invoicing and the billing for you. So previously we had um, a business reply mail clerk that would hand count those pieces. So this takes out the human error and it also speeds up the process. Oh, awesome. so at Great. the end, mm -hmm. so at the end of your um, the promotions, um, the accuracy rate is much much higher because it's automated. Mm 
-hmm. And with that, you can save um, three to 6%. So that's wow. really good, especially if you're going to use your BRM anyway. Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And then this one I'm really excited about, the informed delivery. That promotion period is August 1st through okay. December 31st. Oh, perfect. Now, the great thing about informed delivery is that you can use it outside of the promotion period. And we found that with informed delivery, there's a 72.5% email open rate and a 4.92% uh, email click-through rate. Mm -hmm. So that's wow. more touches just on one mail piece. Right. So currently we have 54.6 million users. Right. And right. Um, another added benefit is that you can do a pre-campaign analysis and then you can do a post-campaign analysis. Oh, okay. So that way you can really, you can test to see how well your mailing campaign actually did as far as the return on investment. Mm -hmm. You can also um, use a zip drive with your current uh, mailing list to see how many people on that mailing list is already signed up. And mm -hmm. you can see the average of um, what's the potential opening rate of the people that have already signed up for informed delivery. So with the informed delivery discount, it is a 4% um, discount for that. Okay. And that's first class mail and marketing mail. Right. And you definitely want to make sure that you add a ride along image. And what that is, is um, it's an interactive element where when you see an image, you're going to you're going to receive an image on your phone or your desktop of what's mm -hmm. coming in your mailbox that day. So let's say you're traveling, but you still want to know what's coming in your mail or maybe you're expecting something really important you'll be able to see that right then and there. You'll be able to engage right then and there. Um, so that's why I love uh, informed delivery. Yeah. Well, I've, yeah. Been a, I've been an early adopter since it was, um, since it started, you know, a couple of years ago. So mm -hmm. one of the 54 million right here every day. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's grown and it's, it's continually to grow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are there other new capabilities that are being added, like for packaging and things like that to inform delivery? That is something that's on the table, but mm -hmm. because of the way that we scan our mail pieces, um, that hasn't been um, active yet, but we are working towards that. Right. Okay. That's what I thought, too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And I, I think that's it right now. Um I think I've discussed all of the promotions. Did you have any, did you want me to revisit anyone? No, I think that's pretty clear about all of them. And of course, um, as you as you mentioned there, uh, all that information is available through Business Gateway and Postal Pro. Yes, yes it is. Mm -hmm. Cool. So let's, let's continue on and talk about um, political mail. Okay. Um, you know, 2024 will be here before we know it. Um, so question that often comes to people, too, is what do voters look for or they think about when they see uh, political advertising, you know, uh, all these direct mail that comes into their mailbox, you know, uh, two months, three months before an election? Um, I believe the voters, they want to know um, that the candidate it cares about what they care about. Mm -hmm. And so how can the candidate get that message to the voters? Um, and like I mentioned before, the reason why I love mail is there's a way that, to tell your story. Right. So you can um, start off with a bio piece and just tell a little bit about yourself, um, your background. And that can also bring a connection between the candidate and the voter. Mm -hmm. Another mail piece is an issue piece. Do you support the same issues that the voter supports? And then another piece may be um, a comparison piece. Uh, Why should you vote for me as opposed to my candidate? And, um, and then I think just adding that emotional engagement, mm -hmm. you know, um, 
just knowing like what's on the table, what's really hot, uh, what could be a little polarizing, um, but how do you get that message across where you bring that connection between you and the voter? Mm -hmm. And we all, always recommend doing more than one piece. So, so having these variety of pieces is very helpful. And of course you wanna do the get out to vote. You also wanna have um, an advocacy um, piece. So what that is like you already, you may already have a list of supporters. So you can send information to them just to remind them like what you've done for them, what you're gonna be, you know, what your plans are for the future. Um, you don't wanna lose the advocacy vote. Mm -hmm. And um, so something that we also have is called share mail. Oh, okay. and so with share mail, what that is, is that you can send maybe like five postcards to your advocates and include maybe a note. Like if you really support what we believe in or you, you know, you like our message, send these out to five of your friends. And then you, as um, the mailer, you only pay for the mail pieces that are sent out. Okay. I mean, that's why we have so much success on like Yelp and other reviews. Um, because I know for myself, like I look at the reviews. I want to see what other people think, what other people are saying. And then if it's someone that I know, I'm going to pay greater attention because it's someone that I know. So yes. it could be like in a booklet uh, similar to this. Mm -hmm. And then you have your, your breakout of your postcards. Like that. Oh, awesome. That looks great. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like so a, so it's like a form of like peer to peer in a way. Peer -to -peer, correct. Um, uh, marketing or, you know, uh, advocacy, however you look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Um, another, um, level of um, direct mail that I want to talk about. Like, what if you have a small budget and you're like, I don't even have a mailing list, but I want people to know who I am. Mm -hmm. You can use every door direct mail. And oh, what right. I love about that is um, the cost right now is 0.187 cents. Okay. And again, like I said, you don't even need a mailing list. Mm -hmm. um, and the variety of sizes, um, it, the, the price doesn't change. So the most common size is six and a half by nine, mm -hmm. which you can go as large as eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 15. Wow. And the price nice. is still the same. So with that, can you imagine like, I'm going to go get my mail and then I have this eight and a half by 11 mail piece, like that's going to stand out to me. Mm -hmm. You can also do kind of like a newsletter Oh as wow! Long as it doesn't go over uh three point three ounces in weight. Okay. Um, this will be considered every door direct mail, point one eight seven cents. Wow. So um, it's a really great way to get your message out there. Right. Um, yeah. That's a just, you know, that's a real bargain. That's amazing for a piece yeah. like that. Mm hmm. Definitely. Um, I also want to remind, like, if you're doing um, political campaign, mm -hmm. to use the red tag. Yes, this is red not, tag. It's not mandatory, but it's highly recommended um, because as a post office, we, we have a, a staging area for the political mail. I mean, that is like top, like our bread and butter is right. the political mail. And if you don't have this red tag, your mailing may just kind of get, you know, floated along with all the other pieces. And a lot of times, um, mailers may use pre-sort standard as opposed to first class. But we treat political mail the same priority as first class mail. Right. So you want to make sure you have this um, tag 57 to highlight yeah. that importance. Yeah, you don't want that stuck there like a week or 10 days before an election. And there's like a, um, you know, Halloween mail rush or some other um, Thanksgiving mail rush. And it's just sitting there and you're wondering why people in your district or your town or whatever have not yet received your campaign. So yeah. very important. Very yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, we also have... Um, 
political notice. So with that, um, you can, you sign up, you, it's a way, it's an additional form of customer service. So you're letting the local post office know when you're going to drop your mail pieces, how many pieces you're going to drop, and you're even going to provide a sample. And mm -hmm. how many times have you tried to contact somebody to find your missing mail piece? And you're like, I don't know who do I talk to. But right. the political notice is the perfect way to just add that additional form of security and customer service. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So um, so thinking about like political campaigns, what kinds of things should anybody be doing like in the next couple of months to plan and to start getting ready to have winning results for their campaign with direct mail? Um, for instance, would you say like, that should they start thinking about using informed delivery as part of their campaign? Definitely. Informed delivery. Um, we also have informed visibility, which is another way to track your mail pieces. Right. You can actually see when it's leaving uh, your hands or the mail house and going to Susie Q's address on <laughs> this date. Yes. And um uh, I would also include the the share mail mm -hmm. um, and definitely, you know, start reaching out to those that are already supporting you because um, and you want to, you know, you want to start out with awareness and use data to um, like voter voter demographics. Use that to see who's who is your target audience. Mm -hmm. um, who's voted in the last election, who voted early, um, who's maybe nonpartisan that mm -hmm. you might be able to impact um, as the swing voter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's all just laying the groundwork with yes. those types of pieces. And then I would say, you know, to dovetail back to what you talked about before, um, you know, the more impactful pieces can come later, the comparison pieces, for, for example. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, talking about like just direct mail in general, like these are, oh, and by the way, one other thing is um, there, I would say there's probably like a ton of information for campaigns on um, USPS okay. that you can find. Mm -hmm. There's there is information on USPS.com, but we also have a dedicated site for political mail. We have white papers, case studies, and that's on deliverthewind.com. Ah, awesome. Glad you got that in there because that's it's a really it's a really cool site and there's uh just so much great uh data about audiences and uh generational mail and how that you know ties into reaching voters. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So, um, we have two white papers now on the site, like how to reach the Latina voter, mm -hmm. um, Black American voter, um, how to reach uh, women voters, and um, how to stand out with millennials. Uh, we just have a lot, a lot of information. Yeah. Free information. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it saves a lot of trouble too, um, you know, compared to trying to figure it out on your own when it's not really um, um, the easiest thing in the world to try and put together. So, um, yeah. so, so talking about like just direct mail in general, what, what would you say is like the best value proposition? Like why, why should, why should people use it? Why does it work so well? Um, I guess it depends on what your core, um, the end result. So let's say you want to develop a loyalty program. So mm -hmm. a value proposition, an example might be where you say, um, while most companies focus on new customer acquisition, they often overlook loyalty. Mm -hmm. In most cases, they are leaving money on the table. As a general rule, 80% of companies' revenue comes from the top 20% of their customers. It costs more to acquire a new customer than to keep an existing one. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. And then you can introduce um, that you have, uh, that there are ways to communicate um, loyalty programs for your company. So. 
Yeah. yeah, no, I completely agree. It's it's uh, uh, just the amount of resources that companies spend on constantly churning for new new customers and acquisition and uh, um, stats after stats after stats show that, like you said, the um, retaining an audience is, you know, tr provides so much better ROI. Yeah. yeah. Well, which, which so go ahead. I was going to say, and there's so many ways that you can incorporate the mail with the loyalty pro program. Mm -hmm. I've seen like birthday cards, um, special discounts uh, on your birthday or anniversary that maybe you signed up as a subscriber. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a VIP, uh, first looks, uh, like, you know, it makes, it makes you feel like exclusive. Um, so just so many different ways to engage that customer. Um, mm -hmm. I know every time I get um, Bath and Body Works coupon, um, even though I have a whole bunch of stuff already, I'm like, I got to use it. I just have right. to use it. So. Yeah, it's too, <laughs> too enticing uh, when it's uh, when it's a good discount. Uh, yeah. Kind of like the USPS discounts. So Exactly, yes. Right, right. So what trends do you um, see unfolding from your point of view in direct mail for... Um, you know, this year and going into next year? What I found interesting um, from the, I don't know if it, it developed from the pandemic, but definitely I saw more of it, the resurrection of the QR code. Ah, and yeah. so for me, I feel like the tr ongoing trend is that pairing of print with digital. Mm -hmm. I mean, we definitely don't want to say um, don't do digital, but just incorporate the print. Um, if you have a greater um, variety of communication, it's definitely go going to um, leave a lasting impression on the brain with the consumer. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I see, definitely incorporating more digital um, and informed delivery is a great example of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. And it's also a way of um, when you have that omni-channel approach, you know, some things really may be better handled by, you know, by email, for example. And, uh, but at the same time, that print, especially when you have that impactful print, it can make a really big impression. For sure. <laughs> yes. And, and, Mail is a way to cut through that digital clutter because also through the pandemic, I just get an onslaught of emails where I don't, I can't even keep up. Yeah. So, but with the mail, I'm going to check my mail because, mm -hmm. you know, you have bills and um, so I'm going to check my mail and I'm going to mm -hmm. look through it each and every piece. Right. And looking for the piece that makes a difference. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think that's a good place to uh, wrap things up for today. Um, Thanks again for being here, Clovis. Really, totally appreciate it. And you for being here. Uh, can people contact you for more details uh, about USPS promotions or political mail? For sure, yes. Um, it's Clovis. Okay. at usps.gov. Okay. And we have sales reps across the country. So I may not be the person to work with you directly, right. but all of our uh, sales reps are completely trained and more than willing to help you. So, Awesome. Yeah. I love hearing that. And that's true. You guys are so, so helpful. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, again, thanks for being here. Um, really can't tell you how much I appreciate having here. And Thank uh, you. you're welcome. And thank all of you out there for joining us today. If you have any questions uh, for us or for uh, my guest, Clovis Washington, please feel free to leave them in the box below. You can show your support for the program again by tapping the like button and click on subscribe to be notified of any new videos when they're added to the channel. If you want to be highlighted in a future episode of Meet the Mailers, hit me up. I want to hear from you. Uh, my contact info can be found in the paragraph below by tapping the show more prompt. Thanks again for watching Meet the Mailers and see you next time.